evening, how are you all? So this is a really quick dinner. So I wanted to show you some shortcuts on how to get dinner on the table really, really quickly. Number one, you need to have your husband prepare the veggies for you. So I've been out all afternoon and I just rang him and said, can you cut up some veggies? And he knows exactly how to cut them just to the right size. So things like zucchini that cooks really quickly, make it a little bit chunkier, and then your carrots that take a little bit longer, cut them quite small, and everything else is in bite-sized pieces, cauliflower, broccoli. We're not having any potato today, but if you had potato in there, you'd put that at the bottom, okay? There's only two of us, so this is a really quick, easy meal. So, cheat. Pre-boil your kettle, so if you are at home, chop up your veggies, and then boil your kettle while you're chopping up your veggies. Just put enough water to cover the bottom of the blade, just so that your vegetables aren't actually sitting in water. So your blade's here and your water's just underneath. We're going to create steam to cook those veggies. You can see it's already gone above 60 degrees, so we're just going to come on and set this for, I'm gonna do 10 minutes, and I, I'm suspecting it's going to be finished before then, but it'll give me time to show you some other things. Varoma, and we need to pop our lid on, and I'm just going to put that to speed too. So you don't want to go too fast, otherwise your water will splash up through your vegetables. So my veggies are on, now I need to do my protein. So I've got, what I've got here is some crumbs. So this was from crackers I made a little while ago and they turned out a bit rough. They were really thick and they weren't very nice, but because I don't like to waste anything, I just zhuzh them up in thermi to make a crumb. So they're just seeds. Oh look, <laughs> there's there's a bit of one there. So um, yeah, so I'm just gonna put some crumb into there. Oh, you can go back in there. And I'm going to crumb my chicken. And of course, you can hear my little trusty sandwich press cracking away there, warming up. So I've got a couple of pieces of chicken and I don't do that egg thing or anything like that. I'm just going to quickly toss my chicken into my crumb and then pop it into my, um, my sandwich press. So you know how much I love my sandwich press. I should be getting commission from Breville, shouldn't I? <laughs> so just one piece, two piece, so, probably put a little bit too much crumb there, but that's okay. This crumb or any of these um, crumb it up kind of things are made just with seeds or nuts. This one, I don't know, this one doesn't have any nuts. It's just all seeds and a bit of um, turmeric and stuff. So, as I said, they were really, really thick and I wasn't very happy with them. So, I've turned it into a crumb. So... I'll just put that one in there as well. Give my hands a little wash. Whilst all that's happening, I can just come through and give you a couple of tips and hints with the cookie dough, I think. That's what we'll do, because I actually want to show you how quick this meal is, okay? With your sandwich press, I do actually flip it halfway through. Not that it really needs it, but the bottom plate does have a slightly different temperature to the top plate, but I'm just gonna leave that sizzle away for a couple of minutes. Whilst that's going on, I'm gonna bring back my Thermomix and turn you a little bit closer, and hopefully you can see the screen. So I'm going to come under here, and I think I've showed you this before, but one of the things I like to show you is I'm going to search what's on the menu this week. I'm not sure. Let me think. Um, I am going to do, actually I'm gonna go by, not by relevance, I'm gonna come by name. So this will bring it A to Z. So relevance is what's trending at the moment. A will come through alphabetically, obviously. The other thing I can do here is I can change it to collections. 
So I can have a look at all these collections. I'm just going to quickly scoot through until I find something that might float my boat. I'm going to look for something in blade cover because we have a fantastic option at the moment. If you know anyone that wants to purchase a Thermomix, there's two options. They can get the meter and the tool kit for $89 or they can get a blade cover and an oval thermo server for, um, for I think it was $35 or $39, I think it was, sorry. I will double check that and I'll put it up on to my page, okay? So that's why I thought I might just show something with the blade cover. So I've done um, beef, I actually haven't done the beef. I'm gonna add the beef. Because I've got some beef from my butcher, so if it's still loading up, let's let's go there. Beef stock. Come on, don't be temperamental. Oh, there we go. So when you go straight into a collection, you can add it. So when you go straight into a book, you can add it straight to a collection. So I'm going to add this to a collection and I'm going to add it to, I've got one right at the bottom that I've called Wanna Try. So I'm going to add it to my Wanna Try collection. Once I've tried it and I like it, then I'll move it to where I think it might be appropriate. So I could save it under my blade cover collection or I could change, uh, save it in my stock collection. Anyway, so that's that. The other way, if I come back, if I come back and come to my filters, for some reason it's not playing the game at the moment. If I come back and I come into search and I go to my filters, I can come to the bottom and I can put the UK on. So I'm going to come all the way to the bottom, take Australia off and put English in. And that's going to increase my result for English recipes. And from there, I can choose butter chicken. I've not seen that one before. So I'm going to add this from here. not wanting to play the game. Maybe my screen's a bit dirty. I'm going to add to cook today. Then I'm going to come up back up to my week. And from here, I'm going to move it to another day and I'll move it to one day next week. So you can go in and move things that way. This is steaming really, really well now. And I'm just going to check my chicken. So we've got three minutes. So what's cooking at your house today? Can you hear that sizzling away? So the other thing, once I've done this, um, cooked this chicken, what I'm going to do is this is the sauce left over from my healthy roast chook that I made yesterday. Okay, I think it was yesterday or was it the day before? I don't know, seriously, the days just go. So, because it's got all of the goodness from the, um, the juice from the chicken and all of that, the other thing I thickened it with was a quarter of a teaspoon of xanthan gum. So if you're following a low carb diet and you don't want to use flour as a thickener, xanthan gum is a really, really good thickener. Word of warning, you need less than more. So seriously, literally a quarter of a teaspoon I put, and it was about 500 mils of sauce. So what I'm gonna do with this sauce, I'm actually going to put it on, when I take my chicken off, I'm going to put it into my sandwich press because I don't need to dirty anything else. And then I can just tip the corner of my sandwich press and my sauce is hot as well. So really the sauce is just for the vegetables because that crumb, you don't actually need that. So 
Okay, so we've got a minute and a half there. I'm just going to check my chicken. What I could have done actually if I had planned it, but I'm actually on my phone at the moment recording. So I could have used my meter. So, but because I'm on doing this, I couldn't really, I could probably do it on my iPad. Hmm, maybe next time. But that, then I would know that my chicken's definitely cooked. But it is only a couple of little fillets and they look like they are done, okay? So, one, two. So there's the two chicken fillets with my crumb. And all I need to do now is put some of this sauce onto there. I'm not going to shut the lid right down. I'm just going to let that bubble away for a moment. And I'm going to teach you a very, very important trick with this basket, okay? Because I've had a lot of people making comments about getting the basket out and how do they get the basket out and how can they stop the, the, the thing from flipping over. So, my sauce is done. My veggies are just about done. They're just on the cool down. I'm gonna throw them, I'm gonna throw them into, um, this is unavailable at the moment, one litre thermo server. It's um, very well used in my house with only two of us. So all I need to do is tip, open your lid like that, then get your spatula and pull it out like that, okay? And then when you pour it into your container, your, your lid's not going to flap back at, on you, okay? Because if you do it this way and then open it, you kind of, you've got this flapping all over the place. So what you need to do is open your flap and pull it out like that, okay? So that's done, that's done. And my sauce, I'm just going to pour my sauce over my vegetables and I will show you all. Turn my, my thing off and I'm just going to tip my sauce all over my veggies. Just like that. So, there's my sauce and dinner is ready. And that was 12 minutes, okay? And that's because I'm yapping a bit too. So anyway, hope you got some hints and tips from that and I'll see you all again very soon. Take care. Bye now.